Um, my name is Mark Lynn. I work for DCU, and, and thanks, uh, Lee, for, for this opportunity and for filling in my name. I realise I didn't have insert name here. I didn't fill that bit in. Um, what I'm going to do is I slightly cheated with the template just a little bit. Um, I talk in pictures. I know, stand by the white line. I talk in pictures, so what I want to do is talk about the various different projects that we're doing and give you a snapshot as to what we're doing. I head up the Teaching Enhancement Unit, but delighted to work with different colleagues across the university, of which some of which have, have spoken already today. Um, I'm going to talk about the, the PredictEd project, which is one that we have the brains behind it down in the audience. Um, I will then talk about the engagement with specific teaching resources and flip back to the course blend in a second. Okay? Um, I appreciate these colours may be quite difficult to see here, but there's three pictures here just to explain what we've got. The top one here um, is we analysed all our VLE data over a six year period. And what we did was every single click the students took, we monitored, and then we linked it back to student completion, their, their pass rates within the course. We then were able to look at prediction rates and how accurately can we make a prediction after week one or after week two or after week three on whether existing students, based on their interactions, will actually pass the modules. That left a huge mass of data for us and a huge uh, opportunity for us. The first one was to look at the course design. If we could look at course X and predict after three weeks, but course Y we can't predict until after six weeks, well, what's the difference between the course design? So we looked at the, the materials that were being used and the way the lecturer had structured their Moodle course. The second aspect of this, of course, is sending the information to the students. And this is key for us. And this is where we were able to, based on the students' activity, give them a score, a score between one and nine. Um, one if they were the, the least active in the class and nine if they were the most active. And we gave them that score and again gave them the information based on your current level of activity, your chances of success are X. And we emailed them on a weekly basis. Um, and we did notice a considerable response in some subjects, one in particular, maths was up to a 9% change in grades versus those that got the emails and those that didn't. Um, this dashboard here that I have in front of you, that was actually displayed to lectures, the same information, but we can look and see throughout the semester. So blue is good, red is bad. So we can see these students are not engaging, but this student started off not engaging, but then started to go in the right direction. So, and then the two uh, graphs on the other side are related to individual students and we can map their engagement and assessment across all of their modules. So we literally can pull that information all together and get that profile of, of the individual student. <coughs> Within a specific course, so the previous example was across the entire VLE, this is what we decided to do, is look at specific activities. In this example, it's a discussion forum, and we scored the students on their interaction with the discussion forum. This is the dashboard given to the lecture, and it was based on their activity, their visibility, their influence, and their network. And uh, it also shows information on who's the most active and who's in danger and so on. Danger, such a dramatic word. And then uh, this is the same type of dashboard, but this is what the individual student would see. So again, their activity, their visibility, their influence. And we give in this particular course to 700 students every week and they're required to make um, a post and reply to posts on a discussion forum on a weekly basis. Um, this one again, uh, sticking with specific resources, our lecturers created great learning resources, um, but they want to know how great they were. Where, were they making a difference? So we looked at this was particular video, uh, we linked the video directly to an assessment and then we uh, correlated who had looked at the video versus the score within the assignment. Um, here we were able to show the lecturer that there was a 12% increase uh, on average based on those that had looked at the video hadn't. They did cry with other videos because they didn't see any difference. Um, so there's the health warning that always comes with these things. The last thing I want to chat to you about, because I'm very conscious of time, is we're looking at course blend. Everybody talks about course blend and blended learning and what we're doing. Um, mm -hmm. So we wanted to see, that's to tell me to stop now. Um, <laughs> <coughs> we wanted to see that how many, uh, or what our blend was. Is it more assessment driven? Is it more collaborative? Is it more interaction? Or is it just content transfer? So we measured the activities that are used, the resources that are used across the entire VLE and broke it down to schools and programs with the hope of now setting targets for individual program leads on making their course more blended where appropriate and so on. 
the opportunities that we have and based on notwithstanding all of the stuff that has been said um, <coughs> before by previous speakers but everything to me has indicated there's huge opportunity for collaboration we are competing in some sense but to be honest in this area we shouldn't be there's huge huge uh, opportunity for us to make a real difference not just in them passing and, and getting that student fee in the door to keep our money people happy, but from a societal impact and saving the students, the knock-on effect for that is tremendous. The challenges we have, we've no time, we've no resources, and we don't have a coordinated approach. They're the challenges in, in every institution. We all have so many different day jobs to be doing. Um, what steps would I like to take next, and I'll direct it this way specifically. Um, I would love to see a funding call specifically on learning analytics. Look at the interest that's here in the room. We all can collaborate across it. David is one of the people that is, is being funded um, as, a, as a postdoc or as a researcher. I'd love to see more of them funded. But collaborations between a collaborative research student that's sharing across different institutions. I think it would be a great use of money and use of resources. Put into perspective, we save one student, that's 28,000 euros. It's not going to cost you that, maybe twice that amount to fund a student, and we save two students. We've got that money covered. It's a no-brainer. And then definitely facilitate the arrangements that they have in JISC, even if we partner with JISC in the UK, or replicate it with HEANET. They do super stuff here. There's no reason why we can't do that. And the last one is to facilitate national collaboration. Please, please, please do not make it competitive because competitive ruins collaboration. Thank you. Thank you.